Okay, what we're going to do here is an inrush current test on a Kenmore energy efficient 8000 BTU air conditioner on electricity and then on my Honda EU2000. Now, I have the meter set up to capture inrush current. So, that air conditioner will kick on any minute now. I think it takes three minutes for the um, compressor to actually kick on. I have it running about a minute and a half already, so what we should see here in a second is the amperage come on. When that compressor kicks in, we should be able to capture the total. Now, I did this the other day. I think it's, I'm not mistaken, 29 amps, but I don't remember, so that's why I'm doing this test here today. Uh, the generator, the Honda EU2000, will definitely power up that 8,000 watt generator, 8,000 BTU generator. Okay, if you see that, it just kicked on. If you can see the meter, it's a little blurry from here, but I can see that it says 20. Okay, so I'm gonna. Shut the inrush off, and there you can see what it's using after the inrush. So quite a difference. So it went from 20 to 2.8, and I can feel cold air coming out as well. So the compressor is clearly on at that point. You can barely hear it come on. It's these new air conditioners are just so quiet. So I think I have it set, what, to 68, you can see that, and what I'm going to do now is turn it off, okay, and what we're going to do is take our setup and we're going to plug it into the generator. So. <clears throat> Let's get the generator started here first. It's going to be hard to do holding the camera, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, turning the choke off. Now, eco mode is off. I don't want to have that on when I run this generator. Okay, so we're going to plug it in. We're going to set our inrush on. Okay, so it's going to wait for that inrush current. So probably, I'm going to reset that because I'm going to turn it on and then turn the fan on first. Okay, so it's running low speed fan. And I'm going to reset this again. So there's, that's the fan, 0.6 amps. Okay, we're going to set in rush. And again, it's going to take three minutes. For some reason, I read that's what the uh, amount of time it takes for the compressor to cycle on. So you're going to have to listen to me for three minutes. Okay? See there? 68 degrees it's set for. I got the fan on low. And the air compressor, sorry, the uh, compressor will come on after three minutes. So if you do some rough math, 20 amps times approximately 120 volts, I don't know, what's that come out to? 2200 watts? So it surged at 2200 watts on household electricity okay so now this is only a 2000 watt generator so I'm kind of curious to see what it's going to surge at running on the generator so you'll hear the generator kick in when that air conditioner kicks in for a brief second it's going to probably go for roar, and then that is when we'll see this come in with our amperage so 
kind of curious to see if it's going to be 20 or if it's going to be 18, 17, whatever it's going to be. But that's what this test is about. And to show you that the 2000 can run an 8000 watt generator. Oh, it should be any minute now. I'm just going to back up a little bit right here. Try to keep it steady for you. I can back up so you can see everything. I like my stand, high tech. You don't need to see the uh, air conditioner. Again, this is a brand, brand new tent. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Well, that was quite interesting. So we see that it captured 26.9 coming amps. Well, my guess and reason that that's like that is because uh, technically, because it's a 2000 max generator, didn't have enough wattage, so you got a lower voltage, which thus raised the amperage. So instead of seeing 20, we saw 26.9. Now, I'm not an expert when it comes to motors. I'm not sure how bad that is for the actual air conditioner. So again, what I think happened was here, it couldn't quite get to 2200 watts, so the wattage went down and the amperage went up when that happens, and that's why you see that. So, there you have it. Now, right now, I should show you what it's actually using, because I got the kilowatt hooked up too. Okay, it's 124 volts, 590 watts on low. Now, I'm just gonna turn a fan up to high, so we can see what it would be. It definitely cold air coming out of there. It's really cold. So we're gonna turn the fan speed up to high. We're gonna go back over here and see where we're at. Okay, so there you have it. About 620 watts, 120 volts. The hertz should be no problem. Okay, so the idea is that you usually figure out a rough wattage is you take the 8,000 BTUs or whatever BTU your air conditioner is, times it by the energy efficiency, sorry, step back, divide that by the energy efficient rating. So in this case, it would be 8,000 divided by 10.8, because that's what the efficiency is of this. And you will see that that should give you around 740 watts. So that's a rough estimate. You can see what it's actually using, 637, 623. Now here's an interesting thing. Here's the actual, let's see if we can get this in here, on the side of the, let's see if we can get that in there. Doesn't wanna, can't quite get the camera to read that, but what it says is 8,000 BTUs, EER of 10.8, seven amps, and 740 watts. So you can actually see that it's really coming in a little less than that, 628, which is good, 630. But there you have it, 8,000 BTU on a Honda EU 2000. Nice cold air coming out of there. So. In an emergency, I don't think I'll have any problem keeping a room cool on this generator.